together, because greatness awaits on and off the field. The exercise involves eight squares and two elongated rectangles, with one player positioned in each square. The objective is to pass the ball to teammates within the squares without allowing the opponents to gain possession. However, players are not permitted to leave their respective squares. The essence of the exercise lies in swiftly delivering the ball to teammates and making quick decisions. Should the opponents gain possession, they are to execute the same process. Players learn passing accuracy, decision-making, ball control, and defensive awareness. You can also expanding the drill to include two squares. goals adds an extra dimension to the exercise. Now, in addition to the previous objectives, attackers must also focus on scoring goals while maintaining possession and preventing the opponents from intercepting the ball. This modification introduces several additional learning points for players. The attackers can't leave the square, and only the attackers can make the goal. So what do we learn here? Finishing skills, offensive strategy, defensive transition, team coordination, and game realism. Step into the extraordinary realm of soccer mastery with the four goal drill, a game changer like no other. Brace yourself for a 4v4 showdown, amped up with a unique twist for an intense 5v4 challenge. No traditional goalie, just lightning fast decisions and non-stop action. Master the art of adaptability and maneuvering. Outsmart your opponents and showcase your skills in this tactical masterpiece. Picture four goals, two teams and one midfield maestro dominating the game. Are you ready for the most exhilarating soccer experience of your life? dive into the action and kick off the match of a lifetime. In this drill sample, we begin with a triangle formation. The base of the triangle measures 10 yards, and after a five yard span, it transforms into a cone. The remaining two sides of the triangle extend for 15 yards each. Notably, on the left side, there is a 3 by 3 triangle to complete the arrangement. Welcome to another exciting session of team training combination. In this soccer drill, we're focusing on enhancing first touch skills to elevate your team's quick passing game. Objective. The primary goal of this drill is to improve first touch precision, enabling players to control the ball swiftly and make accurate passes in a fast paced game setting. A sharp first touch is crucial for maintaining possession 
and setting up effective offensive plays. Player positioning. Each player takes their position at one of the cones, initiating the drill. The drill begins with a player making a pass to a teammate using only their first touch. The receiver must control the ball skillfully with their first touch and quickly pass it to the next player in the sequence. Continuous movement. Emphasize constant movement and positioning to create passing angles. Players should anticipate the ball, ensuring their first touch sets them up for a quick and accurate pass to the next teammate. Two minute intervals. After two minutes, players rotate to the next cone in a clockwise direction. This rotation allows every player to experience different positions and challenges, enhancing their adaptability on the field.
Dive into the thrilling world of free kicks with a fresh perspective. Join us as we explore our tried and true direct free kick setup, now infused with innovation. Our focus, uncovering the art of the strategic pass, pinpointing the perfect moment for a small yet impactful play. This dynamic drill places a spotlight on the finesse of the short pass, strategically designed to shift the kicker just a few meters. The goal, to alter the angle, navigate around the defensive wall or edge closer to the coveted goalpost. Executing this move is no easy feat. It demands practice and a deep understanding between players. Players must develop the ability to decipher the defensive wall and the goalkeeper's positioning, determining the opportune moment and direction for the pass. The kicker, in turn, receiving the pass, must exhibit adeptness in swiftly adjusting and seizing the shot, capitalizing on the newly created opportunity. Ready to elevate your soccer game? Join us as we break down the importance of the middle and half spaces on the field, the key to creating scoring opportunities. Learn the art of using passing and moving combinations within these zones to set up the perfect shot. Our focus is on precision timing and fluid movements, exploring various finishing techniques from powerful strikes to delicate chips. Jump straight into dynamic drills where you'll navigate through these crucial zones practicing receiving passes and executing finishes on goal. The presence of a goalkeeper adds a realistic challenge, enhancing your ability to score in match-like conditions. As we progress, focus on refining your finishing techniques, adjusting for distance, angle, and goalkeeper positioning. These drills are designed to build muscle memory and consistency in your finishing, developing, a natural instinctive approach to scoring from these key zones. Dive into our dynamic soccer training session, focused on advancing easy finishing from cutbacks. We've tailored this session, incorporating passing, dynamic movement and shooting with a twist. Two centre-backs strategically joining the scenario. The first prevents penetrative passes inside the box, while the second defends against cutback situations. Our goal is to infuse game-like elements for the attacking team while maintaining ample resistance, ensuring successful execution. Attacking players face added challenges, emphasizing passing accuracy, mastering the weight of the pass, intricate decision-making, and controlling the ball under pressure. Share your thoughts on today's training exercise in the comments below and amplify our soccer community by hitting the like button. We've organized a training session that progresses from simpler one-on-one -on -one scenarios to more complex four-on-three situations, gradually intensifying the challenge for our players. In this session, our main goal is to increase the pressure on our attacking players. In the first part, we have one late defender applying pressure from behind, forcing attacking players to make quick decisions. In the second segment, we simulate a situation with disorganized defense and a fourth defender joins the situation late, creating an overload situation for attacking players to exploit before they run out of space and time. In the third part of the practice, we transition to a scenario with organized defense, with defenders and a goalkeeper positioned to defend the penalty area. This setup makes it challenging for the attacking players to create opportunities and score. Despite the increased defensive demand, our players should maintain their focus on executing finishes with precision and accuracy, our primary emphasis remains on achieving correct positioning, teaming, direction and speed. If you found this video informative, please consider sharing it with others by giving it a like.
Boost your team's scoring abilities with specialized passing exercises that target key positions on the pitch. In this comprehensive video, we break down a dynamic training drill designed to elevate your team's gameplay. Divide the field into three sections with a 3v2 setup on each side and a 4v3 formation in the middle. The coach initiates the exercise by passing the ball to a designated zone, setting the game in motion. Here are the rules and objectives. Players must progress the ball through the designated zone to score points. Defenders are restricted from leaving their designated zone. Attacking players should capitalize on the 3v2 or 4v3 overload scenario to advance. For defending players, the goal is to thwart the opposing team's progress and deliver accurate passes to a target goal. Unlock the secrets of this dynamic exercise to improve your team's scoring capabilities and gain a competitive edge. Subscribe for more soccer training tips and drills to elevate your skills on the field. Discover Manchester United's dynamic training exercise that takes your soccer skills to the next level. This high-speed drill, which involves seven players and requires just five cones or alternative markers, is all about fast passing with a maximum of two touches per player. It's designed to foster quick ball circulation, enhance precision passing and emphasize swift, purposeful running. Whether you're a player or a coach, this drill is essential for improving your soccer game the Manchester United way. Greetings fellow soccer enthusiasts. Join me in exploring an exciting scanning exercise that not only sharpens your scanning abilities, but also encourages quick reactions based on what you observe. Welcome to the three goal scanning drill. In this exercise, we'll set up two mannequins in the middle, spaced about five yards apart. Then we'll position three goals, each painted in a distinct color. One goal is 10 yards to the left, one to the right, and one behind the mannequins. If you don't have goals in different colors, don't worry. You can use bibs or cones to represent each color. Here's how the drill unfolds. When a player receives the ball in the middle, their task is to locate and head towards the goal with a cone or marker of a specific color, let's say blue. To do this, they need to scan the field, spot the blue goal, make a controlled move in that direction, and then execute a precise shot into the blue goal. This drill not only reinforces the significance of scanning the field, but also underlines the need for quick, decisive actions based on the information players gather. It's a fantastic way to boost your scanning skills and add another layer of expertise to your game. Join us for this training session and hone your abilities on the pitch. Like, comment and subscribe for more soccer tips and drills. Your journey to becoming a well-rounded player is just a click away. This activity focuses on team practice for vertical play through combinations. It takes place in three zones with two end zones, 15 to 20 yards long and wide, and a middle zone, 8 to 10 yards long. Four mini goals serve as counter goals for the defending team. The blue team starts with three defenders and the red team begins with six attackers in their respective zones. The objective is to create a four versus two situation to find the roaming midfielder in the central zone. Once found, the midfielder combines with two attacking players in the next grid. The wide players can join to support and defenders may track back to regain possession. Emphasize timing and movement to develop player awareness and off-the-ball skills. After a successful switch of play one defender, 
and one attacker stay in the furthest zone to repeat in the opposite direction. Defenders closely mark the free roaming player, introducing progression as attackers and defenders from the other grid can drop into the central zone for combinations. Teams earn a point when the end line player combines with the central attacker or a wide player after a switch. If a defender wins possession, they can score in the counter goals. Encourage the team that lost possession to counter press. Step into the world of soccer excellence with this intense passing drill created by the legendary Diego Simeone. In a confined space featuring four goals, players are pushed to their limits, combining rapid runs with precision finishing. Every goal is followed by an instant pass to keep the tempo high. After three minutes of high intensity action, the players rotate, ensuring an unmatched workout. Elevate your skills and conditioning with this challenging drill designed for players who strive for excellence. 